In diesem Video lernen This video will teach you how to create maps of a body of water with the deeper Pro Plus and deeper Chirp and interpret these maps correctly. At the end of the video, we will show you some live underwater recordings how to find fish and hotspots. This is an extract of the world's first deeper online course. Finding fish and hotspots with the GPS and map feature. Creating maps with the deeper. The map feature is a really useful tool to find fish. This is a screenshot of the Deeper app. Here we have the fish finder recording. On the left side we can display the map. If you cast the Deeper Pro Plus or Deeper Chirp in onshore GPS mode, it will of course send the depth information of the water and process it. The depth data is stored in the cloud and then assigned to a location by means of a GPS function. As a result, This function gives a very nice impression of the bottom structure of a water body in relation to depth. Here we have an example map of one of our spots at River Elba in Germany. Various depths are shown in different colors. On the right side we have a scale starting with orange for the shallowest spots. At 26 feet or 8 meters the yellow scale starts to turn green. The deepest spots above 20 meters and 66 feet are marked blue. The deeper's GPS or that of your mobile phone knows your location, and your recordings from the spot are displayed on a map of the area. Everything is stored online in the cloud so you can access it whenever you want. There is a small difference with the Deeper Pro. It is one of the first Deeper models and has no built-in GPS, but instead uses the GPS data from the smartphone. Of course, it makes absolutely no sense to cast your Deeper Pro and your mobile phone with the GPS data is in your bag. To put it bluntly, your Deeper Pro can only be used to create maps on the boat by attaching the Deeper to the boat and placing the mobile phone nearby. This way, the GPS data from the mobile phone is included while the depth data is recorded. The Deeper Pro Plus and Deeper Chirp Plus both have an integrated GPS module. When used, this GPS module connects to satellites, and when these deeper models are cast, a map with the correct depth data is created at the deeper's position. This allows you to find great hotspots from land and generate amazing hydrographic maps. One more remark about the Deeper Pro Plus. In our opinion the GPS function is not as good as it should be. There is a lot of wrong location data or interruptions of the GPS connection. With the deeper chirp, these problems have probably been solved, because we could not detect any more interruptions or errors. This map is provided by the deeper team. It was made with a special bait boat onto which a deeper was attached. As you can see, this is another way of scanning an entire water body and making a really nice map of your home waters. The deeper is also ideal for fishing from a kayak. By setting the boat mode you can also use the deeper pro, as the mobile GPS is not as susceptible to interference as in the onshore mode. For comparison our spot in the river Elba. Here too we could generate very beautiful depth structures of the bridge area. Another great feature of Deeper is that you can view your map not only on your smartphone, but also online in the lakebook. We will now show you exactly how this works. You can register here at maps.fishdeeper.com. Under login you can connect using Facebook or Google or use your email account. Let us use Facebook to open the lake book. We will start here in the summary section. The summary is located up here. Below you can see the my lake section, my catches, my places and some statistics as well as settings. On the map we have a wonderful overview of the different spots we have angled. And we will zoom in here. We are interested in this lake. We can also go to my lakes in the menu and have a look at the last scans we made with the deeper. We can easily navigate here, then click on our lake, and we can immediately see our recorded map in color. Furthermore, the different depths become visible through the colors when zooming in. The orange color represents the area along the shore, yellow and green for the medium depths, and then blue starting at 66 feet or 20 meters.
The depth contours we can see here on the map can be understood as follows. There is a large gap till the next depth contour. This means that it takes a very long time for the terrain to drop from 3 to 7 feet or 10 feet. Large intervals between the depth contours represent a slowly declining lake bottom. At this point we see many lines with short distances to each other. This must be a very steep drop-off. And these drop-offs are of course very good spots where many fish are found. Moreover, drop-offs are a transit zone between shore and open water. Fish can quickly swim to the shallow bank to feed, hide or dive into the depth of the open water. Here we have a depth of 39 to 50 feet. Let us check this skin here on the left side. We additionally see the recordings of the fish finder. The blue line shows our driving course. If we now click anywhere on the line, the data from the fish finder will be loaded down here. Up here we can see how our deeper is moving. We always recommend to deselect the fish icons because they are not really useful for getting to know the spot better. This allows us to search the spot once again for fish and hotspots. At this point we are just before the drop-off and now we are moving up to shallow water. This is how we can navigate through the spots and we additionally have a couple of tools here that we can use. You can zoom in and out of the spot and also use the rangefinder, which is really handy. Thus, we get a very good overview of the distance between some drop-offs and the shore in order to be able to cast or head for them later. Let us have a closer look at this drop-off right here. We were always interested in the steepness of the drop-offs when the depth contours are close together. After all, it is one thing to zoom in on the map and something else to see how it really looks like underwater. To find that out, we grabbed our underwater drone and checked it out. We are currently at a depth of about 8 meters or 26 feet. We can see that it is somewhat murky in the vegetation. The lake is still quite clear, so even at this depth there is still enough light for a really, really pronounced vegetation. And there in front of us we can already see the drop off. I will stop for a moment. This is really a very steep sloping drop off here, which is completely overgrown. We are going to move towards the surface and watch how the drone rises. At a depth of about 13 feet or 4 meters we have the first drop off of the bank where it is slowly getting shallower. Now we approach the drop off from the shore. We are just right before the drop off and are looking into the open water. From here we can already see the drop off. There are often a lot of fish around these break off points. As mentioned before, drop offs are often very good hotspots when you find them. It is now possible to look down and nicely see the contours of the water's bottom at a depth of about 8 meters or 26 feet.